Over the last couple of days, I've had some amazing conversations with a couple of fundamentalist uh, Christians. One of which was one of the people that believed that May 21st was going to be the end of the world. And the one thing I have discovered, well, actually, it's been reaffirmed because I already knew this. They have a profound ignorance on how the world works, on science, on history, and the nature of evidence. So, after wasting those days in conversation back and forth with them in my inbox and as well as under videos, I have decided that I have a litmus test, a couple of litmus tests, before I even get involved in these conversations again. One, in regards to science. Before we can even discuss anything about science, scientific data, discoveries, achievements, accomplishments, whatever, before we can even go so far as to discuss any of that, the one question that I will ask a theist is, how do you define the word theory? Because if they cannot wrap their minds around the fact that in the English language we have words with multiple meanings, depending on the context of its usage, there is an absolutely no reason to continue to correspond with them. Because that's really basic. That's basic stuff. So if you can't really wrap your minds around that, there's no need for us to talk any further about anything else dealing with science. Now, I don't know if it's because they really truly don't grasp it or because they're being intellectually dishonest. I would wager that most of them are being intellectually dishonest because you can find a dictionary anywhere. You can find a dictionary online. You can go to your library and get a dictionary. And you can find out what the word theory means and its multiple meanings. And the fact that they demagogue that word lets me know that they're not serious. The other litmus test in regards to uh, biblical history, or history in general, but specifically biblical history. I've had a theist recently tell me that God wrote the Bible. Now, as I questioned him further on this, because I wanted to make sure if he were saying that, you know, the, the people that wrote the book were inspired by God. <clears throat> you know, I've heard that argument before. Um, no, he was actually saying that God wrote the Bible. Here's the thing. Before we can discuss anything to do with that book, if you don't have a fundamental understanding that it was men that wrote that book, regardless or not of whether you think that they were inspired by some mystical divine deity, regardless of all of that, just at the base level, just at the very basic if you can't wrap your head <laughs> around the fact that it was men that penned that book, I don't see any reason to go further. Because, see, it's one thing if they say they were divinely inspired. They have no evidence of that at all. And the truth is, they were no more divinely inspired than Homer was when he wrote the Iliad. But if they... I would kind of understand them attempting to use that, even though it can be completely debunked, because for the simple fact that there are things in that book that an all-knowing deity would never say, you know, so that, that really is neither here nor there. But the very fact that they cannot understand that it was men that wrote the book, if you can't wrap your head around that, there's absolutely no reason why we should continue to correspond on any other topic outside of that. So those are my litmus tests. And truthfully, I feel like that a lot of people should adopt this because there's no it's no use to you even getting into a conversation with people that think like this for the simple fact is you won't even get to the meat of the argument because you're going to sit there and argue back and forth over the meaning of words that are easily looked up and easily checked.